So if you want to increase the profit that you make with your free commerce DCA bots, the only way to do this is to increase your risk. Now I'm going to show you how you can increase your risk to make more profit, but still be on the safe side. Now the bot that I'm using in this video is the one that I showed in the last video, which you can find in the info box right here. So for one deal, this bot will require $250 to trade. However, the $250 is only required for all safety orders to be filled. But in most cases, all the safety orders aren't going to be filled. So you can increase the risk by using a lower amount than the max amount for bot usage. So let's just say, for example, you have a balance of $1,000. This bot requires 250 for one deal, so you would increase your max active deals to four so that it reflects your $1,000 account balance and it would, the bot would now use 100% of your account balance to trade with. This would be a 100% risk. However, in 99% of the cases, the $1,000 will not be used in total because again, only when all seven safety orders are filled, the bot requires all the money. So on average, only four to five safety orders are being filled. And therefore, in most of the cases, the bot only requires up to $120. So more, more than 50% of your balance is not even going to be used in most of the cases. So if you're a beginner, I still recommend using 100% risk. But if you're more advanced, you can then, for example, say, okay, in, on average, five safety orders are filled. So I only want to use $120 for one trade. Now, if your account balance is still $1,000, you can then set your max active deals to eight because then the bot would, would require around $960 because it's just um, eight times 120 is 960. So that, that would be the closest to your $1,000 account balance. And in case there are deals where the sixth or seventh safety order need to be filled and you don't have the balance available, you're going to get an error which is going to say you have insufficient funds available to open the safety order. Now, if you've set up some kind of notifications, for example, Telegram notifications, you will immediately receive a notification that there is a six or seven safety order that has to be filled, but you don't have the balance. In that case, you can then either choose to deposit more uh, money so that the safety order can be opened, or you can close another deal so that the money is freed and then it can open the sixth or seventh safety order. Now, if this is a little too complicated, another way to achieve this is, let's say you only want, um, you only want to be covered until the fifth safety order, and you could just go ahead and decrease your max safety trades count from seven to five. Now you can see that the bot requires $120 for one trade, you could now increase your max active deals to eight so that it's now closest to your $1,000 account balance. Nine active deals will be a little above your account balance, which we don't want. So eight would be the optimal scenario. Now, if there's a case where all the five safety orders are going to be filled and the coin is still going further down, it will look something like this. So this is an example where we have, this is another bot, so don't worry. We have eight max safety orders and there have, and eight safety orders have been completed. Now in a case like this, if we just have a look at the trade, we can see that all the safety orders were filled. Our average price is up here and the take profit is up here. But it would now take a lot of time for the deal to close. So we would need to move to up to 26%. And if the coin goes further down, we don't have any coverage further down. So it would take even longer for the deal to close. Now, in this case, we can go ahead and edit the deal manually. And we could add another ninth safety order, click on save. And then you can immediately see that we now have nine max safety orders. 
and one is active. And if we have a look at the deal, we can see that if the coin now decides to go further down, we will still be covered further down and the average buy price and the take profit will also decrease, making it easier for a trade to close. So this is essentially how you can increase your risk to make more profit, but you can still be on the safe side. Now for beginners, I recommend to always be running between 70 and 100% risk. If you are more advanced, you can run anywhere from 150 to 200% risk. So if you enjoyed this video and if you want to So if you enjoyed the video and you want to watch other videos about free com bots or just crypto bots in general, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, let me know in the comments how your bots are performing. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.